in today's video I'm going to discuss options for doing firearms touch-up. If you use your firearms quite often or if you're adding and removing parts from your firearm you're probably going to get some nicks and scratches uh, eventually and if those sort of things bother you um, hopefully this video will will give you some insight into how uh, some different ways to uh, touch those nicks and scratches up if you look at your firearm as a tool and you don't care about touching up nicks and scratches scrapes holster wear then this video is definitely not for you I treat my firearms like I treat my, my cars uh, if I get a, a rock chip on my car I, I touch it up so that's just me so um, I'm throwing that out there so you guys don't beat me up about uh, aesthetics when it comes to firearms so what am I going to talk about I'm going to talk about um, some different methods I use for touching up uh, rifles and pistols and what I have here uh, shown right now in, the, in the, the video is I have some pen solutions which are portable solutions you can keep in your range bag or your gunsmithing kit and they don't take up very much space and starting off with uh, what I have down here I have a uh, paper mate uh, permanent multi marker uh, I have a sharpie most of you are probably familiar with the sharpies I have a Birchwood Casey Presto gun bluing pen and I have a Birchwood Casey Super Black uh, uh, ink type of pen uh, in flat black. Now I have all four of these because all four of these work in different scenarios and they have slightly different color variations to them. Um, these first two the paper mate permanent and the sharpie are marker pens so they are permanent marker pens and you can use them on a lot of different surfaces you can use them on clothing you can use them on paper uh, you can use them on metals uh, plastics and and so on depending upon the surface that you use them on they may or may not be permanent even though they both say they're permanent markers uh, Sharpies um, are fairly permanent, but they can rub off. They also are not really a paint. So if you have a deep scratch, it will hide the scratch somewhat, uh, mainly because it's it, if the underlying material is silver and you have a scratch, you're going to see a silver scratch. With the Sharpie, you really won't see the silver anymore, but the material that's scraped away on the, the top of the surface is still going to be there. Uh, Sharpies and they they have a place depending upon what you're trying to touch up um, they're relatively inexpensive they have multiple uses um, I've used them to touch up um, uh, receiver end plates uh, castle nuts uh, buffer tubes uh, trigger guards and and so on the the main problem is durability and uh, the color shade the, the the colors are not really a, a good match to uh, a lot of the firearm parts out there but in a pinch you know it it works uh, this other um, pen here um, this is a gun bluing pen it is uh, designed to do um, touch-ups to um, uh, areas that are that are blued so uh, I won't go into detail about gun bluing you can you can google that um, primarily it's only really going to be applicable on a firearm that has a blued finish uh, or or maybe um, you know if you have a uh, or a, a firearm with a blued finish which basically means it's it's probably going to be uh, the underlying material is going to be steel doesn't really work on aluminum and, and such so that's something to keep in mind um, I've used the gun bluing pen to do touch-ups on um, barrels um, barrel nuts and it's things that are steel in nature also if you uh, carry a sidearm every day uh, and you have a firearm that has a blued finish 
eventually you're going to see holster wear from from carrying it uh, taking it in and out of your holster the um, gun bluing pen is a great uh, thing to have around for uh, touching up holster wear on your sidearm the last item here um, is the Birchwood KC Super Black um, paint pen and this particular one is in flat black it's you can get it in a gloss black um, I, I honestly don't know why they make a gloss black because the the gloss black just doesn't match anything even the flat black is questionable on on what it will match color wise um, although it's flat black it's it's not flat enough for a lot of firearm parts out there um, I found that um, before you go hog wild with one of these touch-up pens touching up something test it because the it's very difficult to find a, a touch-up pen or, or paint that's going to match your firearm finish a hundred percent so uh, it's always best to test uh, the, the color consistency now what I did on a piece of paper here um, which really isn't going to be obvious on the camera um, I, I did um, uh, the Birchwood Casey super black and flat and then I have the uh, paper mate permanent marker and then I have the Sharpie and if you were to do this test and look at it yourself you'd, you'd be able to notice um, the differences in these different colors uh, that, which may not be readily available on the camera. The super black flat black is flat black. It is a non-reflective uh, flat black paint. Um, although to me it almost seems like a semi-flat. It's not flat flat. The permanent markers, um, The this is the Papermate one right here. That one is more similar in color to the, the the, the Birchwood Casey Super Black, but it does, if you, if you look at it underneath a light, it, it does seem kind of shiny. Now the Sharpies, this may not apply to all Sharpies, but most of the Sharpies I've used, they kind of have a, a, a weird color sheen to them, and they don't really work out too well on for, for touching up firearms. They're, they have a sheen to them, and a, a different type of a color hue. They're not, it almost like has a little light red hue inside of it. Um, it's hard to explain, but it's not really a flat black. And uh, so I don't, I don't really use the Sharpie a whole lot. If I had to have it a, a go-to permanent marker, it'd be the Paper Mate because the Paper Mate's more similar to a flat black in color. So if you wanted to perform those experiments yourself on a piece of paper, you can kind of see the color, color variants and, and so on. The Birchwood Casey um, Super Black Flat Black Pen is, uh, that's kind of a nice pen. It, it's about, I don't know, it's like 4 or $5. Um, again, it's, it's an, an actual paint pen and some people consider it a permanent paint, but I've seen it rub off, so that's something to keep in mind too. That you know, even though it's a paint pen, um, it can rub off. Um, it's one of those types of pens. It's got a ball bearing in it or a little marble, and you've got to shake it up. And it also has a uh, chisel tip um, end to it. And to get the paint flowing, you've got to, to uh, press down on it. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. You've got to press down on the tip, and you can see it's kind of spring loaded, and that, that gets the uh, paint flowing. So, you know, you can do with the chisel tip, you can do fairly consistent stripes. And what I've also noticed um, with a paint pen. As you can actually, like any other types of paint, you can build up layers. So if you have a rather deep scratch you're trying to fill, you can put on different layers and let it dry and kind of build it up. Um, it, it is kind of tricky to do that um, with fine scratches, but you know, with the chisel tip, you can 
you know, you can get semi-fine strokes to fill in little nicks and scratches. Um, one thing, uh, again, I'll, I want to stress is none of these are, are going to be a perfect match for doing touch-ups. So um, keeping that in mind, I actually was looking for something to touch up on video here, and I, I, everything I have is already touched up or it doesn't have any scratches on it. But what I did come up with is uh, I've got a latch plate here, um, a Daniel Defense latch plate that uh, I took off uh, another firearm. Um, actually, I took this off of a firearm because I was uh, doing some reviews of these. I did, made a video review of, of different latch plate solutions, so I, I took this off a of firearm so I could compare it to uh, some other options on the market. And this is a... Uh, um, a 6061 aluminum and you can't really use a bluing pen on this uh, it doesn't work too well so um, I've got um, I've got some little nicks up here um, from the buffer tube and some nicks here and of course around here um, there's some nicks from the uh, QD going in and out and that's gonna happen so you know um, if you take your QD on something like this, if you take it in and out, um, even if you touch it up, it's just going to get scratched up again. So, um, you know, that's something to keep in mind. That cer certain wear, wear surfaces are constantly going to get uh, uh, scraped up or chipped up and uh, show the underlying uh, material surface. So touching them up isn't uh, definitely a final solution, especially in an area like this. But what I was gonna do, just to demonstrate the capabilities of the uh, Birchwood Casey, um, this is a, a semi-new pen. When these ship, the, the tips don't have any ink on them, you have to shake this up and then press it down and, and try to get the ink flowing and the ink will come out and, and fill the tip. So um, I'm just going to take the uh, very end and I'm just kind of going around. Again, this is an effort in futility because uh, as soon as I put the uh, QD back in it and take it out a couple times, it's going to nick this up again. But it's the only thing I found that actually could use any type of touch up. So it's definitely not rocket science to uh, do the touch up and um, you know like any other type of exercise we just touch up the areas we need and let it dry and see if we need to put another coat on it and if we you know it's a deep scratch we do a little bit of build up and do a little touch up right up there and these little small little touch-up areas, even though the color may be off, it's not going to be real readily uh, apparent. And the pen. Uh, one of the things with this, uh, like with anything else, you got to make sure that you put the cap back on it and it's on there securely, otherwise it will um, dry out. Uh, that This particular pen, this Birchwood Casey um, Super Black, it's one-third of a fluid ounce. It is fairly fast drying. Um, it's lead-free. They claim it has superior adhesion and durability. I think a lot of that has to do with the surface that you're applying it to and how clean the surface is. If your surface is really oily, uh, don't expect anything to stick very well. So again, clean the surface before you start your touch-up procedure. Uh, like I mentioned, it fills in deep scratches or worn areas and you can layer this uh, uh, type of paint. Birchwood Casey claims it's a near-perfect color match for um, alloy gun receivers, trigger guards, scopes, binoculars, cameras, flashlights, and, and so on. I, I haven't tried this on every possible different surface, so um, 
I, I did try it on some black aluminum flashlights. Um, the match was fairly good, pretty close. I've used it on lower receivers. Some uh, look the color of lower receivers and upper receivers vary from manufacturer. Some are kind of a, a dark, dark gray, and other ones are a real dark black. So this flat black pen, it may or may not match what what you're trying to touch up. That's just something to keep in mind. Uh, touch a small air, you know, if you want to use it test it out first in a small inconspicuous area somewhere to see if if the color matches is going to work for you uh, it's made in the USA and um, it carries a part number of 15102 BPPF and it actually I actually have the uh, packaging that it comes in laying around here I didn't throw it away uh, the packaging looks like that so it's a POP packaging and again it's like five dollars and coming back to our part that we touched up I'm looking at this particular part very closely and if I had to make an observation, I would say that this Birchwood Casey flat black pen is blacker than the coloring of this Daniel Defense latch plate. So um, because I'm just touching up small little teeny areas, it's really hard to notice the areas that were touched up. But the camera's obviously not going to catch this, uh, but judging by my eye, the um, touch-up pen, the flat black pen, is actually a darker color than this. So it's it's not even a good, uh, a perfect match for this. It's close, and unless you're really looking closely, your your eyes not probably going to pick up the uh, color variants. So anyway, um, that's a, about all I wanted to cover as for um, touch-ups, uh, firearm touch-up. And some, some inexpensive options that are portable that you can keep in your range bag or your gunsmithing bag, depending upon what you, uh, what you have. Uh, again, I have all four of these in um, my gunsmithing bag, and they all have a place. Um, and I actually use the Sharpie more so. I use the Sharpie for taking notes and writing stuff more so than I use for touch-up, but it's there anyway. So hopefully this uh, gives you some insight into some uh, possible ways to do touch-up on your firearm.